The sport of basketball is really popular in the United States and China. That makes sense. Basketball started in the US and it's a country with a large population. China also has the largest population in the world, so it being the country with the second most NBA viewers also makes sense. But the country with the third most NBA viewership is unexpected. Is it Canada? No, they like hockey too much. Is it a Western European country like the UK, France, or Spain? No, they love their football and tennis too much. Okay, maybe it's a country in Eastern Europe. They produce some of the top international talent in the NBA today. But no, they have other stuff going on there. Can't be watching basketball. Fine, it has to be Australia. They seem to have gotten a big basketball following out there. But no, it's not actually Australia either. The third largest basketball market in the world is a Southeast Asian country known as the Philippines. According to research conducted by Nike, of the 108 million people living in the country, 40% play or have played basketball, and 80% of the urban population claim to be basketball fans. The whole country is covered in advertisements featuring basketball, basketball fashion, and basketball culture. That's crazy. It's like the dedication Americans have to football or South Americans have to football. Speaking of soccer, how is it that basically the rest of the world is obsessed with soccer, but the Philippines is obsessed with basketball? After all, soccer is so easy to start playing. You just need a ball of any type and some feet. It is easily accessible and doesn't require any expensive equipment. History is needed to explain how basketball became so popular in the Philippines. Back in 1910, the Philippines was a territory of the United States, and with that came a lot of U.S. influence. When creating the physical education curriculum in schools, basketball was introduced to Filipino girls as a sport that wasn't too rough and intense. To that point, basketball is very new to the world, having only been invented just 19 years before in the United States. In the Philippines, boys started playing it as well, and it gained more popularity as more people learned about the sport. From the 1930s to the 1960s, the Philippines national basketball teams were consistently some of the best teams in the world, which helped grow the sport even further within the country. With the early adoption and success in the sport, it's easy to see how basketball became so popular in the Philippines. There's just one problem. Filipino people aren't known for being very tall, and NBA fans know that to be good in basketball, it is better to be tall. So if this is the case, why is basketball so popular in the Philippines? Like I said before, soccer is the most popular sport across the world because how easy it is to play for everyone, just a ball is required. Although comparable, basketball needs a ball and a hoop of some kind in the air to throw the ball into. It's not as accessible as soccer, so it shouldn't be this popular in the Philippines, right? Well, there's one key difference that makes soccer hard to play and basketball easy to play in the Philippines. The reason is the geography and climate of the country. The Philippines is a country made out of small islands surrounded by water in Southeast Asia, which is a region known for experiencing large amounts of rainfall and typhoons. Typhoon Vamco has caused extensive damage in the Philippines, flooding many parts of Luzon, the largest and most populated island. The storm, known locally as Ulysses, made landfall in the Baikal region. The same area was battered by the super typhoon Goni just a week ago. Howard Johnson reports from Manila. Typhoon Vamco is the 21st cyclone to hit the Philippines this year and the most deadly. It made landfall on Wednesday, but we're only beginning to see the full extent of its devastation. As a result, the islands that make up the country are prone to flooding and floods happen there often. Floods are a normal part of life for Filipinos, but many still want to play sports with their friends and not let the weather impact their fun. What sport is really hard to play in knee-high water? Soccer. That's right. But basketball can still be played. And that's why I believe basketball became so popular in the Philippines.
okay, if basketball is so popular in the Philippines, why are there no Filipino players in the NBA? Well, that's an easy answer. On average, Filipinos are short and many people in the country are poor. There's not a lot of outside investment in the Philippines to develop basketball talent because most Filipino men will never grow tall enough to be able to compete in the NBA. But that doesn't mean no one is trying because the country is obsessed with basketball. There are basketball courts in every neighborhood. People play on dirt, grass, sand, with and without shoes, with any ball they can find. They basically worship the sport. It's a dream for Filipinos to one day have a player from their country to play in the NBA. The NBA has had a handful of players with Filipino descent playing the league, but there has never been a native-born Filipino in the league. Raymond Townsend played in the NBA from 1978 to 1982 for the Golden State Warriors and the Indiana Pacers. He is half American and half Filipino because his mother was born in the Philippines. Another player, Jordan Clarkson, is a current player in the NBA for the Utah Jazz. He is a quarter Filipino because his mother is half Filipino, and he is the only NBA player to play on the Philippines national basketball team in international basketball events. Now, although there has never been a native Filipino in the NBA, it looks like the country has potential for the first one in a few years. Kai Soto is the future of Filipino basketball in the NBA. He is a native Filipino, and at 19 years old, he stands at an insane 7 foot 2. So much for Filipinos being short, am I right? Because of his height and clear basketball talent, he has been recruited by some of the top international scouts in the world. After graduating high school in the Philippines, Soto agreed to play for the NBA G League Ignite. Unfortunately, due to some timing issues with the national team and then pandemic-related travel issues, he never ended up playing for the team and showing NBA fans his talent. Currently, he plays for the Adelaide 36ers of the NBL, which is Australia's basketball league. He will be eligible for the NBA draft in 2022, however, it is unclear where he will be drafted. He is listed across the board as a four-star recruit, and the predictions for his draft position vary wildly, because not enough people have seen him play against decent competition. The range is anywhere from the second round of the draft to some people saying he will be a lottery pick. Hopefully, Kai Soto makes it in the NBA because as you can see, Filipinos really want it. So let me know your thoughts on basketball in the Philippines and where you think Kai Soto will be drafted to. Which team in the NBA could use a center like him? Thank you very much for watching and liking this video, and I hope I did the Philippines justice telling the story of their love for basketball. Thank you for watching. Peace out.